All right, I think we are live. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining our Self-Care Sunday today. I have a very special guest with us, and this is Dr. Deidre Mason, and she is the Vice President of Product Development. So thank you so much for joining us today. I love this. This is a um, true story. This is actually one of my my favorite things to do. I think a lot of people that have had an opportunity uh, to be a part of 28 Days of Skin, uh, uh, 28 Days of Health, or 28 Days of Weight Loss, uh, are you know are familiar with how excited I get when I get to go live and talk about health, talk about well-being. But this one in particularly is really um, like right up my alley because it's about taking a break. It's about taking a breath. It's about self-care Sunday. You guys, um, everyone that's listening, Lee and I were talking a little bit earlier. I texted her and I wanted to be sure that she was cool with um, me not putting on makeup for our event and our talk and our self-care Sunday today. Because I shared with her and I'm going to share with you one of the things that, my, that I institute in my self-care Sunday um, or any kind of self-care regimen is I pick days where I don't wear makeup, where I, uh, there's no drama, right? Where I'm not too extra. And Sundays are perfect days for me to not be too extra. And, uh, but I wanted to make sure that, that was good since I was going to be face forward with all of you guys. Okay, um, but I have to add into that because your skin looks so amazing. And that's the first thing I said. I'm like, I cannot believe you don't have makeup on because your skin is glowing. And I think that that's kind of the goal of everybody, right? To be able to have those days where you just don't do anything, but you're putting your fresh face forward and it does, it feels good. And so I can't wait, you know, just to like hear some of your tips on, you know, how you get your, your skin to look so amazing. Sure. Well, I mean, that's one of the things that's really magical about what we're talking about today, because I think stand out and it didn't occur to me until we were talking about, oh, should I put a face on? With one of the things that I love about these new LVV products, and I would say the line in general, but we really see it right now with uh, with these three products that we have uh, that we're going to talk a little bit about today, is that they don't feel heavy, right? There's not a weight to my skin. Like there's nothing about them that feels extra. It's all about nutritive to the skin. That's a really good point because, like you, I don't like the feeling of that. I don't like heaviness. I don't like, and you're right. These products do not give you that at all. Not at all. And you would say like, it kind of feels refreshing mm -hmm. to use that word. It kind of feels refreshing to not put something on your face from a makeup standpoint. But a lot of people look at their, uh, their hydration regimens like that. I mean, we know that we have day creams and night creams and sometimes our night creams, not sometimes they're always heavier than the day cream. And that's because you know, we want to lock in that moisture. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the magical ways that you can do that. But um, it still also feels refreshing to be putting on a skin soother, in particular, when we're talking about niacin or niacinamide. And I'll talk about why that's a particular benefit. Um, and maybe what I should do right now, rather than just talk about like all the fun I'm having with refreshing skin, right? Um, if maybe go through some of those one, two, three, and then obviously let everyone know what we're talking about today on Self Care Sunday. We have three new refreshing products. That's going to be my new uh, word for this. We have these new uh, products. Uh, one is what it, we refer to as a skin soother. So it's a niacin B3, niacinamide skin soother. We have the hyaluronic acid times three. And I'm going to explain to you why three or hyaluron three. Um, and then we have something that um, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like clawed my way into um, the office to see if I could get a sample of the astaxanthin Lumiere de V overnight mask. Mm -hmm. So those are though, just to kind of like frame this for what we're doing today. Um, we're going to talk about those three products, but I think along the lines of what you just said, Lee, about like, what do you do for glowing skin, whether it's at my age or any age, nice. um, you know, is like hydration is king, 
right? Staying hydrated is so incredibly important if you want to have glowing skin. Um, moving is important. Exercise, lymphatics, right? Getting the muscles moving, the blood pumping, oxygen. That's what's happening. Oxygen is being carried to your tissues with movement. And I think a lot of people Lee, get confused between working out, exercise, movement, fitness, right? Because these mean, these words mean different things to different people. So this is getting up and moving um, is what I'm talking about right now. You can go and get your glow on at the gym, or if you're like me and you have a gym on your patio, you can, you know, you can go and get your glow on, you can go and get your sweat on. That's really important too. Um, but really, this is just about moving, making sure that you get blood pumping, that you get lymphatics, which is uh, the way your body detoxifies and your muscles moving around lymphatic vessels, right? Full movement is what allows lymphatics to get pumped and your skin to feel very clarified. But that's really romantic when we think that's all you have to do, <laughs> because of course we live in a pretty toxic world. And one of the big things that we have to deal with is not just the hydration factor, but many of the things that are part of our daily lives are stealing some of that hydration right. factor. UV rays are a big part of that. So just being outside, I just talked about, I work out on my gym or I work out on my patio. That's enough for me to be like, what added protection am I going to do? Um, now you add in things like advancing years. And I, think we a lot of people see advancing years as a woman or a man in their 60s 70s yeah. 80s, and beyond and I think it's important for us to understand that in mid 30s early 40s um hormones change drastically for both men and women and you will see it in your skin but you'll also yeah. see it in your ability to um, have turgor in your skin, this suppleness, this fullness, that sort of thing. So I want to just like add one other thing before we talk about the products. And that is that protein's really important for aging skin. No one wants saggy skin, right? No one wants the wiggle and the jiggle. Um, no one wants um, the, the, I don't want to say the jowls because some people have them naturally. My mother gave them to me, which is why I often will like, you'll see me talking like this to you. Right. Because, but those little things happen. It's glowing as you say that my skin is, right? And as beautiful as we are taking care of ourselves on this self care Sunday, um, we do have those little things. We have to pay attention gravity, age, pollution, UV rays, um, some of the new to nature chemicals that have found our way into our food and our water. These are the reasons why we add in treatment. Well, and These I love that you're bringing this up because I don't think that a lot of people really think about all of that. And, you know, that all, it all does factor in with what you're doing. So we can't just always expect to start using skincare when we're not maybe doing some other things that help from the inside. You know what? That's perfect the way you've just phrased that because we we have, we've, you know, there's that fun turn of phrase, uh, beautiful skin from within. Right. Um, uh, you know, uh, the, the idea of healthy skin begins within that kind of adage, but we really have to embrace that, right? Mm -hmm. um, there are two, um, there are two, products that we have today and you didn't know you were going to fall like right into this this you fell into my trap <laughs> no, but, but that's exactly right there's actually two products and I and I guess I could say all three of them fall into into this category but two of them really solidly astaxanthin and hyaluronic acid are two products that clinically or two ingredients found in nature that clinically you can show enhancement or amplification when you're using them both orally as well as topically. The skin is a bunch of layers and penetration into that skin is a difficult thing to do, but there are certain ingredients that are just made to do that. Astaxanthin and natural hyaluronic acid, sodium PCA, um, the niacinamide, the B vitamins, these are some of them that are naturally, um, because they, they naturally occur in the skin, they're naturally created in the skin, 
and um, they tend to have such an affinity that penetration is a lot easier with them. Um, but it doesn't penetrate throughout the entire skin without pulling up from the inside. And that's why oral nutrition, not just hydration is so powerful. Um, so let's do that real quick. And um, when we think about nutrition from the inside and skin health from the inside, it does, uh, protein is really important. Peptides are what make hormones. Peptides are what allow your skin to have that youthfulness, that structure, that barrier, that pull, that buttress. That's all peptides, mm -hmm. right? So your diet does matter. But as we age, uh, we can start to see um, just mechanisms of wear and tear on the body are eating up those peptides a little mm -hmm. bit faster. Meaning we've got to think about how we're going to improve our diet, right? Maybe have a higher commitment to diet, but we're also going to think about what else can I add from a nutrient supplement standpoint, something that like vitamin C that helps me naturally create collagen. Mm -hmm. um, minerals and peptides that naturally are part of hyaluronic acids, natural production in my body. Um, utilizing an actual oral hyaluronate supplement. And that's why we, we built the beauty blend the way we did with antioxidants, with oral hyaluronate, so that you could actually get some of that buoyancy and that trigger back. But now we wanna talk about the hyaluronic acid times three, right? Because that product is a serum, right? That sort of thing is, you know, these easy drops that you can add to directly to, and I don't have anything on my skin, so I can do this, right? Uh, add directly onto my skin. I can do it safely around the eyes. I can add it to a moisturizer if I wanted to. I can add it to one of my other treatments uh, if I want to do that. But what I want you guys to know about hyaluronic acid, or um, it's also known as hyaluron, is that um, your body naturally creates it. And that's why you can look at you know, we think of like cherub, baby skin, yeah. youthful skin, because we're very rich in hyaluron, these peptides in youth, but they start to degrade our, our own production of them goes down as we age, our ability to like keep up with the um, wear and tear on the body starts to slow down and uh, not their production. I mean, they do, the production does slow down, but it just starts to supply and demand just mm -hmm. aren't in the right balance, right? Um, but then we think um, about just um, the, the, the natural aging process and that's the slowing down that I'm talking about. So we wanna think about all of those things as now I need to supplement this orally, but I wanna put it on my, on my skin as well. Um, you know, uh, nutrition plays a key role in you being able to utilize a topical hyaluron um, water or hydration does, but really what is the mechanism here and why do you want to do it? Hyaluronic acid is able to literally pull in and hold on to moisture. So that hydration is necessary for um, that suppleness um, of the, uh, or that, that smoothing of the skin. Listen, if you stay well hydrated, your skin does tend to smooth out. Um, what's really different about hyaluron in this case, or a hyaluronic acid in this case, is that it's not just a hydrator in that it can pull hydration. It's actually a peptide. It's actually these building blocks of the structure of the skin that allow for that suppleness. So it's more than just smoothing out the skin due to holding on to hydration and improving hydration factors. It's literally a restructuring of the skin. And when we do it both orally and topically, we're going to get um, that amplification and that restructuring and that more youthfulness of the skin. That's why hyaluronic acid is used for plumping lips or fine lines around the lips. It's why it's used from an injection standpoint to give, to pull up you know, uh, it's injected here around the upper cheeks, not to give you bigger cheekbones, although that's a, a component of a lot of injections, but to actually pull this up because it increases structure as well as hydration. Um, so that's something I want us to understand is 
that it, it's it's putting back what youth, what was lost um, due to youth or lost due to age or what we want to regain to have that more youthful skin. And I love but, how you explain that because it really makes sense when you explain it that way. Um, because you do think of like baby skin and how like plump and like buoyant right. it is. And then you think of, you know, all the different age groups and you can kind of see how that does diminish over time. It, and, and that's where you see that, that kind of sag. And I hate to use that word because I don't think, I think age is beautiful on so many people, right? So it's not really about age. So much of it is about health. I'm okay that my skin looks mature. I just want it to also look healthy. Yeah. And the way you get your skin to look healthy is stay hydrated. Use topical um, applications that help with that hydration that can help with the restructuring or the buoyancy. That was a great word. Because that's exactly how hyaluronic acid is used orally in your joints for that buoyancy. Hyaluronic acid is used orally by ophthalmologists and optometrists because we lose volume in the back of the eye, but also because of its hydration factor, hyaluronic acid is very good when we think about dry eye situations. And that all comes with age. So I want you to really think um, about the hyaluron in that regard. Now, there are other things that make the hyaluronic acid or the hydrate three um, um, can, you know, additionally powerful. And one of those, uh, one of those things is that there's sodium PCA, um, in the product and sodium PCA is another ingredient that is, um, you guys are going to love this magical little thing you're about to learn, um, is, is like hyaluron where it can hold on to fluid. Um, but it's actually, it, we, we call it sodium PCA, but it's actually a component of an amino acid called proline. And proline is the magical ingredient that is in collagen. Ah. So that's why, that's why sodium PCA is found in so many products. Um, because it's a pept, it's a component of the peptide proline and proline, hydroxyproline and glycine. These are the amino acids that build collagen. Mm -hmm. So, um, when we think about, again, that restructuring, you just need the building parts. Like I can have a construction crew come over all I want to build a house, but if they don't have the wood, the bricks, the mortar, the nails, the, the jazz, right? They can't actually build it. And that's one of the things that's magical about sodium PCA is that it's a builder um, because it's the component of proline. Um, so there's a lot of reasons to be using this particular um, topical in both youth, mm -hmm. as well as in, um, as well as in uh, an age or more maturing skin. Now, um, I, I just checked something because I realized that one of the magical sodium PCAs is actually in the skin soother. Um, so I want to go into that, that proline component is in the skin soother, but let me check one note here because, um, I did these in a, a different order and I want to make sure that I give you one of the other magical things I knew about um, the hyaluronic acid. Okay. So when we talked about hyaluron or hydrate three, um, what I missed letting you know about was the three molecular weights. Why did we call it hydrate three, right? right. The three molecular weights. So a, a small, medium, and large kind of thing. That's also about that penetration. Um, that uh, different layers of the skin is one of the reasons why the renewal serum with Lumiere to be is as powerful as it is as well, because it has different molecular weight oils in it for aging skin, for youthful skin, but also to get to different areas of the skin, different kind of um, uh, factors of hydration. So let me back up a minute because I did misspeak and I want to apologize for that. The reason why um, the hydrate three is as powerful as it is, is be one of uh, the reasons why we've mixed it in this regimen or we've brought these products out together is because of the skin soother. The skin soother is, has aqua cell in it, which is some fruit acids mixed with sodium PCA. And that PCA, as I said, um, is a component of proline and proline is a component of collagen. Okay. But the magic ingredient in the skin soother, and 
why we want it mixed with a hyaluron or a hydrate type three is because niacinamide, in case you guys didn't know, it's a part of natural baby creams. It's a part of like when we want to, um, you know, baby skin is very thin and we want to have a very sound barrier for that skin. And niacinamide has been shown uh, to be very, very beneficial for creating a healthier barrier on thin skin, on baby's skin, especially if we're worried about the elements uh, damaging the skin or irritating the skin. And that's really what we're talking about right now, right? Is irritation. A lot of people need to calm their skin down. Maybe they are putting on a product that's not, um, uh, uh, they, they, they feel like they need a skin purge. We kind of talked a little bit about that indirectly where it's like part of your self-care might be using a clean face all day. Some people really feel like they need to purge their skin. Niacinamide is one of those things that's been shown to help kind of detoxify the skin. It's not like charcoal where it pulls things out. I should tell you guys sometimes about my tips that I do. I put the, uh, the shopping annuity, um, uh, shaving charcoal shaving cream on my face for this reason to pull out ah, uh, impurities. That's um, a good tip. So, yeah. Oh, I, I listen, I'm in love. Um, I, it smells really good too, but you know, so this isn't like charcoal, like pulling things out, but the actual activity of niacinamide on the skin is healthy cell turnover. So in youthful skin and very thin skin, that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to repair skin. We're trying to grow skin cells right? Well, I've often been heard to say anything you do for youth, you need to do in age, right? Anything we do to help grow healthy brains, healthy eyes, a healthy nervous system, healthy skin, a healthy immune system, you need to also do to maintain those things in age. Yeah. Because also with age, your skin starts to thin. And with loss of estrogen, skin starts to thin. With loss of these peptides like hyaluron or healthy proteins in your diet or just simply eating them up too quickly, skin starts to thin. And so that's one of the reasons why the Skin Soothers, as powerful as it is, it uses fruit extracts. It has sodium PCA, but it has the magical niacin or uh, it, that's also B3 or vitamin B3, in this case, a niacinamide skin soother, because niacin has been shown to be very beneficial when it comes to irritated skin, skin that flushes really easy, uh, skin that due to lack of hydration, age, um, or exposure um, tends to become very dry, very flaky. And um, these are all the places where niacinamide is like super powerful, right? But what's really nice about the Skin Soother, besides the mixture of the, um, the fruit extracts, which can be this very mild exfoliant to kind of pull up the dry skin, the niacinamide that creates that barrier that supports that healing, that healthy cell renewal or cell turnover, there's also aloe in this and that um, allotonin rather, and that, that comes from the comfrey plant. Um, comfrey is used in uh, ancient rituals. That sounds scary. So let's reframe that. Let's reword that. <laughs> um, it's, it's been used in, in, uh, in home medicine for centuries. Comfrey is that thing that you go and you pull out of your garden. You think it's a weed. Um, but it has rosmarinic acid and uh, um, this allotonin in it that is that makes a compound that is shown to heal the skin, whether it's like an abrasion or an irritation because your skin is easily irritated, because your skin is purging, you easily flush, you have very easy to agitate skin, you don't have a good skin barrier is really what this comes down to. Um, and why you don't have a skin barrier is due to a lot of different reasons. But a lot of people will say, there's so many things I can't do. Oh, I can't put that on my face because I just seem to react to everything, right? Mm -hmm. So let's get down and deep into the skin, right? Not just from the oral standpoint that you, that you brought up, skin help from within or glowing skin from within, but also what can you do topically that can just calm that skin down? 
And that skin soother is one of the things that, that you can use because those fruit extracts are beneficial. That sodium PCA that's a proline contributor is helpful. Niacinamide is um, wildly beneficial and very well regarded in, in the dermatology circles. Is that thing that's going to calm down dry, irritated, flaky, um, overexposed, overly irritated, um, or uh, uh, your own your own skin due to your own immune system may be uh, leading where you start to see that come out in your skin. So it's very soothing in that regard. Before we talk about the mask, I just wanna talk about the power of these two products together. Um, the reason why it was easy for me to get confused about the proline or the PCA in the on the Hydrate 3 is because these two ingredients, these two components are frequently found uh, together in dermatologic approaches. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we're putting those peptides in, but that we're also doing things that kind of have a, a very quick way of calming the skin down, um, improving uh, um, skin comfort. And that's why we call that a skin soother. They are not applied together. However, they can be applied in, in next to each other, but they're not actually, it's not, I had mentioned that with the hydrate three, you could put that in something like your day cream or another serum that you wanted to use. Um, these two actually would, would get applied um, in different layers though. You wouldn't want to put them on. And I'm a big fan of asking people to put their things on in different layers, mm -hmm. let them dry, right. let them adhere, let them sink in. Don't mix up that chemistry. Um, I think actually I've asked you before when it comes to custom health um, or custom um, blends, mm -hmm. can't I just add copper peptides to my to my, uh, any formula, any serum I want, because copper is so good for the skin. And you're like, no, I mean, like not everything can mix, not everything right. plays well together. They can, again, be in a serial approach, but not everything can be mixed together. They'll right. react or um, they'll bind to each other and you want them to bind to you. Yeah. So with the skin soother, you're going to apply that to dry skin. And because mm -hmm. we want it, to calm things down, it can be one of the first things that you do. I happen to be a big fan of the um, the Lumiere de Vie Renewal Jelly. This is the astaxanthin. Again, very um, powerful antioxidant. Um, it, its idea is penetration into the skin. So I personally like to put this on first, but I would let my skin dry and use a skin soother. Now I'm gonna tell you something that's unique to me. Um, that I am someone that flushes really easily. I do get red. And so I also like the idea of the height or the, uh, the skin soother coming on after one of those applications where I feel like I'm going to get a little bit fiery, right? And antioxidants can do that to the skin. Um, the nice thing about the skin soother is it's a 10% niacinamide. So you, you've got enough there to be effective, um, but you can use a little bit less um, if you feel like you want to get started a little bit um, uh, with a, a softer, a softer touch. But we did make sure that there was enough uh, to, to, you know, where the dermatologists were going to respect this product with a 10% mm -hmm. niacinamide. I really like the idea of letting um, the jelly dry and then putting on the skin soother is somewhat of a calming um, and then because I can add the hydrate three to a moisturizer, I can make sure that it's applied wet um, because that one doesn't want to be applied to dry skin. It wants to be applied um, to a wet skin for that adherence. I'm going to tell you just one of my quick tips for how I do that as well. Um, the Lumiere Defeat Ohms, these pads are magical. Those are my favorite right now. Like I am religious about using those every what? single morning. Yeah. Uh, so these are toner pads in a very sexy black container. <laughs> um, um, but I love the size of these pads. I love the smell of these pads. I love the feel of these pads. Mm -hmm. And this is something from a cleanse tone moisturize. I like this toner and then the hydrate three right on top yes. of it right? Because my skin is still wet with this. That's now, what I, this, how I've been applying it. And yeah. you actually use an entire 
like you fill this whole thing up and you can use an entire pipette on your skin and it does absorb in pretty fast. Like it does not take long at all for that to happen. And something I wanted to point out too is I tend to be a little bit more combination oily skin. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people with my skin type, they're like, well, I don't really need hydration. When in fact, you actually do need hydration. You really need it. Exactly. So this ahead. product is perfect for all skin types, whether you're dry, normal, combination, oily. We all need that hydration in our skin. Right. That's, that is the common denominator, right? That's the common mm -hmm. currency of skin, hydration. Someone that is prone to sebum, they're prone to oil production that, you know, they may describe it as oily skin or they mm -hmm. feel like their combination skin as you described it. That is simply the body, the skin calling out saying, listen, yeah. I'm in a hyper production mode right now because you, my friend, are not hydrated enough. And that doesn't mean that you don't drink enough water. It means that we do have different skin types. We have different cell turnover. We live in different environments. And we get exposed to different things. Um, and, and those are all, we have to pay attention to that combination. Um, the, uh, we have to pay attention to sleep. How well are you sleeping? That has a huge impact on, on your skin. So um, absolutely. So, you know, with age, we see dry skin. With combination of oily skin, that's actually a sign of dry skin. Mm -hmm. And when your body is exposed to the elements a lot, that's going to just get your, your body to cry out for more hydration. So I agree with you. The common currency of skin is I need to be hydrated. And so hyaluronic acid, hyaluron, or we're referring to it as hydrate three, um, is, you know, is, is not just science-based in that your skin produces hyaluronic acid, it starts to decrease as you age, um, that we made sure to do this 3% in three different weights so that we could get that much better penetration. You mentioned how quickly it absorbs. Mm -hmm. Hyaluronic acid has a, has a very natural affinity for the skin. And so you are going to see it penetrate, but you're going to see something like this penetrate better. Sometimes like glycolic acids are used to help with that. And they, gl listen, glycerin is just great for the skin, right? Um, but in this case, we were able to rely on the mechanism of those three together, just the three molecular weights. Now, I brought up um, sleep, and that's that's where a lot of repair happens. We you hear people say that, but it's it's funny how we compartmentalize and we go, oh, well, your body repairs while it's sleeping, and we think of that from an aging standpoint. We think about that from a nervous system standpoint. We think about that from a bone building standpoint. And for some reason, people put skin in this box over here and don't appreciate that skin renewal also happens while you sleep. And hydration is still that factor. Um, that's why the renewal mask, um, the overnight mask is just that, it's an overnight mask. Why put on an overnight mask? Why, uh, why not like what we've thought about where it's, a volcanic mask or an owl mask, or, you know, uh, these, you know, our, 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 our masks, as we think of them right now with the peptides and the, uh, the, the um, serums and let them seep into the skin. Well, what you're doing with an overnight mask is you are allowing this like hashtag lock it in. You're locking in hydration, right? When you leave a mask on and don't take it off, um, first off, they're deeply hydrating. And so that's really important um, uh, because that's where we're going to get this repair. Um, but we're going to, when you have a, a heavier mask that can stay on all night, like a, a, a deep penetrating cream, you've got something that's going to lock in that hydration. But also when you do something like astaxanthin from its antioxidant standpoint, but actually from its skin building standpoint, you've got what you're locking in is something that's going in there and doing some of the construction. Studies on astaxanthin show that thinning skin starts to improve. It's not the barrier so much that gets improved. That's where that skin soother is so powerful because that's what's creating that barrier. But you actually start to see um, skin improvement in skin depth. 
And that's important because when we think about fine lines and wrinkles, we think about them in line length and we think about them in line depth, right? So when we can, if you can just imagine that that's the line there, right? When we can start thinking about improving skin depth here, we're going to push that up and we're going to see less fine lines and wrinkles. We're going to lock in this hydration. We're going to uh, see um, the, the, the value of, um, of astaxanthin being able to do its job over time. And I think that's probably the most important thing about an overnight mask is you're simply allowing these nutrients a longer time to penetrate. You're allowing these nutrients a longer time to do their rebuilding. And you're kind of locking all of that hydration in so that repair can actually happen. Um, I've huge, I've, I've wonderful things to say about it. Um, you use it two, three times a week. It would be in, in place of your nighttime moisturizer. You're not going to put a nighttime moisturizer on and then put the mask on, but you're going to, um, uh, you're going to use it in place of that nighttime moisturizer, but not in place of the things that we've just talked about, the cleanse and the toning, the serums, the repair, right? You still want to use the, um, the hydrate three twice a day, right? You still want to get the good stuff in. Um, you're definitely going to do that prior to putting on the mask. I would, I would uh, like to see, like, we talk about putting it on, on wet skin, right? From that cleansing standpoint, toning, allowing your skin to still be wet with the toner, apply your hydrate three, um, you can uh, obviously do other night serums that you're doing within the Lumiere de Vie or the cellular line, but then you're going to lock it in with that mask. And you're going to do that at, at least twice a week. And I'm glad that you shared that because I feel like this overnight mask is sort of a new concept for a lot of people. And so knowing how to apply it, when to apply it, and that you can still apply your treatments. I know that was a big question for a lot of people. Um, and it's not like a thick mask that you can like see on your face. It, no, not at all. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to maybe just, you know, share that where it's not like, it's not going to feel like you have, you know, something heavy on your skin when you go to bed. No. Uh, and I do want you to give yourself enough time to let your mask dry. Like I don't want it to be this thing that you put on and then you run and you like lay on your white silk pillow. <laughs> right. Um, I, I, um, you know, we've got these great uh, tools that um, from an application standpoint, these kind of spa brushes, again, like perfect for self-care Sunday, but I actually save my, um, my Lumiere de Vie jelly spatula and I use that for now, all of my, all of my stuff. I was like, well, I've got this handy little tool. <laughs> it doesn't matter what my day cream, I'm, I'm a big um, timeless person. Um, I, um, uh, I will use this to, now I'm like, why would I put my fingers in that anymore? I have spatulas now, right? Um, and that, that's where it's going to be really fun when we have all of the proper application tools, but I'm just going to do this. So I've just got the mask here, right? And you can see that because it's a cream mask, it's going to penetrate a whole lot easier than we think of like a lot of gel masks. Um, um, when we think of, um, this is very like and kind to a deep moisturizer, it just happens to be a little bit deeper. But when we think about that, um, you know, me rubbing it into my skin, now it's, it's too much for what I just did, <laughs> you know, to show you the back of my little baby hands. But you can see there, obviously, I don't look like I have a milk, I look like I have a milk mask on, I don't look like I have um, a clay mask on, right? It's very penetrating. Um, I'm not leaving anything and um, there's something I feel like I could peel up or flake off or dry out at all. You do want to allow it to, um, I'm, I'm masking my hands. Yeah. Um, and that's actually a good point. <laughs> Don't forget about yeah. your hands or even your neck and, you know, your decollete. I mean, get, get all of that because a lot of times we neglect that. We pay so much attention to our face and we forget about the other areas that do age as well. I'm glad that you brought that up because we've done paraffin baths on our hands and on our feet. We've done masks on our hands and our feet. 
think about those, you know, those areas where you may want to nighttime mask as well. Astaxanthin does have a pigment to it. And that's why you want this to dry before you lay down on your pillow. So do give yourself enough time uh, for that, but absolutely think of other places you need to be utilizing it. You know, I often get asked about the neck and our incredible neck cream and things that we can do to uh, enhance that. This would be one of the things that I would do to enhance that. Um, simply because the, the nature is to be very deep penetrating into the skin. I think there's a lot of serums that we think of, like um, Needle Free is a great one that people want to know, well, isn't that, I mean, would it just help everywhere? And, and, you know, I want you to remember that this is, you know, that this is gravity driven. Part of this is gravity driven. Obviously, if you're a yapper like me, it's also mechanical that there's, you know, that there's going to be a lot of movement here. And so I want you to think of restructuring, building buttress. Um, when you think about the neck, um, I, I, and that's why I like the idea of this like long-term mask that can be there. Probably um, when I think about the number one complaint that women have of their decollete, it's not just this discoloration, which is where I do want to point out um, uh, the skin soother is really, really powerful when it comes to people. It's not so much hyperpigmentation, but where there's irritation, there's also going to be pigmentation. There's going to be, um, for some women uh, and men, it's going to just be straight up redness. But for others, it's like there's always this place that's just a little bit darker than the other places because that's just where there's a lot of cell, like what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. So when we want to improve that cell turnover, especially when we're thinking about like dark areas, um, maybe a, a patch that's a particular problem for you, that skin soother can be really helpful in that. But when I think about this area on most women due to pendulous breasts or weight of the breasts, it's gravity in general, uh, they're real concerned about whether it's crepe paper or just that pull that we get through here. And so something that's built for structure, right, um, I think is important. I definitely would think also about putting the Hydrate 3 here, um, but the, the, the length of time that the Lumiere de Vie Renewal Mask sits on the skin, I think is also like from a time standpoint, I think is, um, you know, with I'm going to add it to that list. A lot of us love Pentaxel for this reason, and um, because it's such a heavy um, peptide builder, it's five peptides, and so it's such a heavy cream that this is like a perfect place here. But it's not perfect to put something as heavy here all the time, and that's why this hyaluronic acid, this Hydrate Three, is so powerful for here because you're going to get those peptides. That's why the Skin Soother with the fruit extracts and the sodium PCA is so good here, right? As well, because we're concerned about thinning skin. We're concerned about a healthy barrier function. We're concerned about hydration. We're concerned about having the, um, the as I joked about, like the construction crew can show up, but they need the bricks and the wood and all of that stuff to build it. And that's where these ingredients come in because they're the ones that are going to build us back into that, like what we had in youth, but what we lose in age or we lose due to diet or we lose due to UV rays or we lose due to the environment or we lose due to exercise. I don't want to take that away from anybody. You, I mean, we, you know, um, if you're a runner, you are, um, we, we tend to see uh, a lack of like kind of that we, we see incredible efficiency in the body in a runner, but we don't see that kind of robustness of the muscles, that muscle structure all the time. We do like, you'll they'll be like, she's running her face off. She's running her ass off. She's right. You know, literally. Right. So let's think about, you know, um, pulling those things back in. So even fitness ironically can be one of those things. It's like, are you repairing enough? Because your fitness is going to steal your reserves. It's like robbing Peter to pay Paul. You've got to make sure you've got enough building blocks to, to be able to exercise at that rate, still recover, still repair, still build. And that's why with age, these builders are so important. And your skin, I hate to tell you this, you guys, your skin is the last thing your body cares about. 
it, it wants you to have a healthy barrier, which is sometimes why we get like plaques and, and a buildup or um, calluses like that. That's your body being like, okay, I got to protect him or her. Right. But when all is said and done, if you have a limited pool of protein, amino acids, vitamins, and minerals, your body will do everything it can to give that to your heart and your brain before it gives it to anything else. So you've got to have a Makes strategic sense. plan for your skin. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So I'm, I'm glad that you said that too, because again, I feel like it's not something that people really think about and they mm -hmm. should. I always manage to talk way over my time. Do we have questions? Um, Actually, everybody's like just really loving it. Um, one thing I did want to point out is right now um, you can actually get the Renewal Overnight Mask as well as the Hydrate 3. It's available now. And the niacinamide will be available very soon, but you can pre-order it. So if you pre-order it, you're the first to get them. They send them out to you first. And so I'm actually excited to get it because I haven't even had a chance to use it or try it on my skin. And I know that my skin will love it because I tend to have this, that type of skin you were talking about. But, um, and then we also have our skincare brushes um, they will be launched soon as well. So I know, Dr. Deidre, you talked about tools and things like that, but we will also have brushes that you can use to apply all of your serums, your masks, your, you know, moisturizer, and that will also help for, you know, on top of the spatulas too, you can also use those. And those are available for pre-sale as well. Exactly. You know, I, it's, it's, I'm so glad that we're doing uh, the spa tools this way, these brushes, because everyone knows that they need to clean their, um, their makeup brushes, right? Probably more often than you are. Yeah. And, uh, you need to clean your makeup brushes. We know that that's sound practice. And, you know, when you think about, um, formulas that really do what they say they're going to do, that comes at, uh, at a cost of high quality mm -hmm. ingredients. And so we want to make sure that we're also treating these, these, uh, these serums and our, our creams and uh, such in a respectful way that, that we're not putting them in a position of contamination. Yeah. You know, that's one of the reasons why I love these containers, in particular with the astaxanthin. It's an antioxidant and it will do its best to quench free radicals. So I want you guys to like push this or uh, make it tight, right? So that it, it doesn't get exposed to air where the antioxidants that are in the cream want to instead do something about quenching free radicals that are in the environment around them. But we have to appreciate that when we stick our hands in things, we are also introducing, um, whether it's um, bacteria, um, oils, things that are going to start to eat up its active ingredients. So these tools are, are really fantastic for that reason. Um, you know, when you, when you see your esthetician, um, when you see someone uh, doing uh, you know, when, when you went through school, Lee, right, you were taught this clean technique, right? And we can bring that home. It's not just for professionals. The longevity of, of a formula is very much about um, the way you treat it, yeah. uh, right? And, um, you know, so screw your caps down tight. You do this with your and mascara. Why would you not do? Oh, I, I absolutely, you're out. Yeah, absolutely I right. always, so you guys, when you get these products, um, the mask and the renewal gelée, it has a little, I don't know, it, a seal on it. Yeah, it's got a foil seal on it. Yeah, right. pry because them away like just a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. Because that will keep, you know, it from drying out as well. And you only need a, it to open like a quarter of the way or an eighth of the way. Yeah, so that's all I do with my jelly is it's, it's got a lip on it. So it's not enough that I could accidentally rip it off but it's enough that I can get in there when I need to. And then what's nice is that my spatula just stays in here, just goes on top of the foil and I never lose my spatula. Yeah. Um, but I'm a big, I'm a big fan of that. You'll see that happen with the, um, the toner pads as well is that they have 
again, something that's going to keep them very sound, right? So that's the other thing I want everyone to pay attention to is that we're thinking of things that are going to kind of respect your investment uh, in your skin and in you, right? That's, that, that's a nice idea for uh, self-care Sunday. Respect your that. investment, right? You are your own investment, that's invest so in yourself. True. And that's really what it's all about. Um, and just in closing, I know there's, you know, with us introducing more and more serums and options, you know, sometimes it's hard to know the order to apply them in or what's all available. We do have our daily skin regimen guide. Um, and it does have, you know, a little bit about each of the products, the order that you can apply them as well. Um, but, you know, when, when all comes to shove, just get it on your skin, you know, I don't think. get so like stuck always in the order. This is a great great guide, but you know, maybe you're mixing in other lines and you're not really sure, you know, thinnest to thickest is kind of a rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. um, but print these out and have this. I love, you know, using these with my clients even to share with them when they do purchase some of the products and that way they can see what's all available too. But just another great resource that we do have. But I just really appreciate you being here on a Sunday and, you know, just sharing all of your knowledge because Every time I hear you speak, I learn so much. And it's like, it's incredible that you just have all this knowledge in your, in your brain and you share it with us so that we can be more knowledgeable about the products too. Yeah, no, these are, uh, again, uh, thank you for that. And they are, they're fantastic products. They're very much driven by the, the physiology of skin, the biology of how we age and um, how we can slow down the progression of aging. Uh, and uh, the, these are, uh, in particular, through the Lumiere de V line, you see um, this um, a truly innovative formulation, like very, uh, very much like, it's not about trending, like our makeup is very much about what's trending. Uh, this is very much about that science and nature and how they come together. The Lumiere de V line is very, very good at displaying that, that beautiful, um, uh, synergy between science and nature. I love that. And I'm really excited about all of the products we talked about because I think that they're all game changers. And, you know, I get excited about all of our new products, obviously, but these in particular, because yeah. I know that those of you that start using them, take a before picture because I wish I had a penny for every time someone said, I wish I would have taken a before picture because my results are amazing. And so take a before picture and monitor your results mm -hmm. and, you know, share it with everybody too. So we can kind of cheer you on it and see what these products are doing for you. So thank you so much. Again, I really appreciate you. And, you know, we'll have to have you back for a future session if you're Please up need to Give me more time. Yeah. And, I, you, and that, that's not, that's not meant to be like, you didn't give me enough time. I'm, I'm ridiculous. I just would just keep talking if you like. You're me. always <laughs> welcome. Trust me, you're always welcome. So whenever you want to come speak with us, we will take it. And we'll absorb it all in. <laughs> Good deal. Thank you, everyone. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Thank you. You too. Bye, everybody.